again. Welcome back to Brota Bass Brothers Fishing. Today we're fishing at our pond again. Probably the only pond we've been to all year. And so we're going on the Senko again. You know how it is. You know, Senko's biting. Stay the best. Yep, he's got it. Fish on. Fish on. Teach y'all how to tie on a little hook, tie on a little hook or a little. What do you guys, whatever you guys are using these days. So for me, I'm gonna go grab some hooks. Guggen Baits, go check out their channel called Guggen Squad. Great channel. So, make sure to go check out Guggen Squad in that. So, we're going to get a hook out here out of this little box here. So as you can see, I have a bunch of disorganized mess, and if your LCD is triggering, just look away from the camera from right now if it's starting to trigger, because it's only going to get worse from here. I don't know where I put my, my hook. Alright, I found some hook. I found this hook. And I'm going to go weightless today, because usually you put on the weight before you put on the hook. Oh, yeah. Basically, you just take a little weight, slide it on there. Yeah, but. Or if you have a pinch on weight, just put on the hook and pinch it on however you'd like. So, see, we got some extra line here. I'm trying to take this, take this okay. off. So, we take the end of our line. I'm going to reel this in just a little bit. Lucky subscriber will get one Hershey's milk chocolate. I'm going to teach you guys how to hook this on a piece of string. So, I have this little piece of string here, and the hooks usually, well they always, no matter what you're using, they always have this little thing here. Except on these, it's a little bit funky, but right, get this out of here. Basically right here on spinner baits, Right there is where you're gonna do that. So if I'm gonna do on a spinner bait or a buzz bait, just pick through that right there. That's basically their little hole that people use. Right there. See a bunch of lines on it. And on lures, same thing as the hook, but it's on the front instead of on the tops or on the lip. Or some, they don't even have lips, so you just put it right there, okay? Basically, all you want to do is try to find a little circle 
or this right here. Anyway, I'm gonna be using a hook because that's what I'm going to use. So we're gonna go through the little circle with the string until you have about that much line. Depends on how much you prefer. I just prefer having quite a bit so I can so I have enough to work with. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this bit of string, go under and then over. Under, then over. And you do that seven times. So, so I already did it twice. So I'll be three, four, five, six, and seven. I'll have to do it one more, so that way if I go through that little hole there, there, um, in case one of these comes undone, so. So what you do, you take your end of your string, go down into that little hook hole there. I like to put like one of my fingers to in the middle there, so I have an easy way to get through. I just put my end of my string through that little bit of that hole there, go through, okay. Pinch it so it doesn't get very far. And then I take it from my other hands, tighten it out. Okay, and once once you tighten it, you would go down here, stick your thumb to make sure your thumbnail is like pretty decent ways from the hook and you just boom. Boom. That it's prone pretty tight. So what you do with this other piece of string, you can cut it off, or if you're, or you can just cut about, or you can put like on another hook, but do it do it another time with another hook. But I prefer just to do one hook. That way you don't, that way it doesn't get all tangled and messed up. And you have to spend about 10 minutes getting all your hooks untangled, like a hook line. But for now, this is what we're going to work with today. So, I'm going to find some scissors. Okay, I ended up finding a, a knife. So, you can use a knife, a knife, any kind of knife that you that you have lying around or yeah, or you can use scissors or pliers or or any of that sort. This is just the first thing I found, so I'm going to use that. I'm going to cut about right there. Okay. And then you never want to have you never want to cut towards yourself now because in case it slipped you know go straight into your chest that that'd be not okay so we're just gonna saw at it until boom you just keep sawing at it with the knife or it's easier with scissors or pliers anything with a little snip snip on it you can just cut it off but not inside they're harder but it gets the job done so anyway, today I'm gonna put on Guggen baits. Okay, and we're gonna put these dudes on. I'm using the Bandito bug. You can see I already used one in a previous video. I think it's my first one. But make sure to go check those out. Hit the subscribe button, then the like button. Smash that like button. And I want you to smash that like button with your chin. Can you do that? I bet you can't. No way. It's, I, I think it's impossible. So if you if you guys do that, please let me know in the comments down below. So anyway, we're gonna... I'm just gonna do a little funky rig is what I like to call it. So basically it's an unfinished te Texas rig. So just do that and then you go there. And there. Okay, and then you have that. And then I'm not very good at any of any rigs or any of any sort, so this is what I'm gonna have to work with right now for 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 right now, because until I figure out how to make one. If you guys would like to see me do try actually try my best to do a Texas rig, please show the support 
smash that like button with your chin, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. So basically what I'm doing right now, I'm trying to see if I can see any fish along the shoreline looking for a bait fish such as bluegill or any small fish because in the best fishing conditions for, for um, late summer like it is currently by the time this is uploaded by the, from late June, early August, the best fishing conditions are in low light levels and under these little deep waters and underneath these moss beds. So I'll, what I like to do is go frog fishing with one of my boys, Trevor. And we usually just go on a little boat, go like right there and start right where all the trees are over there. And just throw frogs down the waters. It's really fun. If you guys want to see the, that, make sure you support and like and subscribe. So, right now there are two fish hiding right under that little moss bed right there. I'm just throwing the little bandito bug at them. They seem interested, but they just don't want to. I think this is gonna end today's video. It's starting to rain and uh, my iPod's about dead. So we're gonna put this guy back in the water. Okay. Okay, nice release. Woo. All right guys, that was it for today's video. See you next time.